And that is the hardest part about doing this job. It feels like you're helpless as a physician. There's nothing you can do. So someone just recently asked me a very difficult question. The answer honestly surprised me. They wanted to know what was the hardest part about being a neurosurgeon. You would think it's the hours and hours of training. You would think it's the countless of times you've actually questioned whether or not you're making the right decision in life. But it's really not that. I came to realize that the hardest part was having to tell a family that their loved one has glioblastoma. For those of you that don't know, glioblastoma is a very, very aggressive form of brain cancer. It is a ruthless, relentless diagnosis. And even with the best treatment available, surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, the expectancy is still around 14 months. There's really no feeling like looking at an MRI and then realizing that this person probably has a glioblastoma. And honestly, a lot of people haven't heard about this thing. So when you tell them that we think this might be the diagnosis, the first question is, is it bad? And then you have to deliver the news that, yes, this is a very aggressive form of cancer. You know, a lot of times physicians will go into medicine because they want to feel like they can make a difference in someone's life. But this is one of those times where it feels like you're helpless as a physician. The treatment course typically involves around six weeks of radiation therapy as well as chemotherapy. And it includes a total resection of the tumor if it's in a location of the brain that you can actually remove it. And sometimes it's in a part of the brain where trying to take it out would cause more damage than good. So yeah, the hardest part about doing this job is not really the work that you put in to being here. It's really the connection that you establish with your patients and then having to tell them the hardest news that you've ever had to deliver.